Here's a short explanation of the puzzle game Ubongo. Here's some general details of this game. The game from Albi is for one to four players ages eight and up. The average game time is about 25 minutes with the objective of the game to solve as many puzzles as you can to collect the most gemstones. Here's what's in the box. 36 puzzle boards, one timer, one six-sided die, a bag with gemstones, the round tracker board, and 12 sets of puzzle pieces, four of each style of piece. To set up, each player should collect their complete set of 12 puzzle pieces. Take the round tracker board and place it in the center of the play area. Fill the holes with the corresponding colored gemstones, blue ones on the left and orange ones on the right. All other gemstones are placed inside of the black bag. Each player should now grab a puzzle board. Players should determine if that round will be played on the hard side or on the easy side. You can tell which side is which by looking at the number of pieces required for each puzzle. The side with three puzzle pieces is the easy side, while the side with four puzzle pieces is the hard side. Next, determine who will roll first. From there, play will go clockwise around the board. The player who is rolling takes the dice and rolls it. Whatever symbol shows up is going to show what puzzle pieces are required for your board for that round. Players then make sure they have all of the puzzle pieces needed. Once everyone is ready, the player who rolled the dice says, ready, set, go, and turns over the timer. Players now try and fill their board using the puzzle pieces required. When a player completes their board, they shout out, Ubongo! But the other players do not stop. They continue to try and figure out their board until the timer runs out. When the next player completes their board, they also shout out, Ubongo! Once the timer runs out, all players stop. The player who was first to shout Ubongo will get to take the blue gem from the appropriate round on the tracker board. The player who came in second would take the orange gemstone. If there was no second place, that gem goes back into the bag. If there was no first place, that gem also goes back into the bag. Once the gems have been collected from the round tracker board, all players who are able to complete their puzzle board will get to draw one gemstone from the black bag at random, including the players who came in first and second. Once complete, it's time for the next round. Players can decide as a group if they would like to keep their same board or draw a new board. Usually you can do this every two or three rounds. Then, the next player rolls the dice and the gameplay continues as before. You do this over nine rounds. At the end of nine rounds, it's time to count up your score. Your score is determined by which gems you were able to collect throughout the game. Orange stones are worth one, green stones are worth two, blue stones are worth three, and red stones are worth four points. You count your total score and compare them with the others. The player with the highest score is the winner of the game. With six different options for puzzles on each side of a game board, you will have lots of different options during gameplay that will make you want to try it again and again. Another fun option is that if there is a player who is unable to complete their board during the round is to see if one of the other players are able to solve it. Either way, you know the basics, so let's play.